Hello friends! Welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. Today we're on day number 42 of our 1001 Tarot Spreads. It is a four card reading about the next 24 hours. So when would you want to use this reading? Probably when you have a big day ahead of you. Some sort of major presentation at work perhaps, or a wedding, or travel, something that is important that has clearly defined stages throughout the day of okay before i when i get up but before lunch i need to think about this thing and focus on this thing and then around lunchtime i need to transition and then the afternoon has a different task and then late evening has a different task this is for one of those busy days when you're like okay what do I need to focus on in those six hour segments? What do I need to watch out for? We are going to continue using the wizards, the wizard's tarot for this. And we're gonna get right into it. As I said, this is for when you have a big day, something that is going to be anxiety inducing or that you are worried about time management. This one says to use the major arcana because we're focusing on overarching concepts for the day. The first card is the first segment of the day, so immediately after you wake up, your early morning. Second card is going to be around noontime, around your lunch however you split your time segments up, so it would be the second segment of the day. The third card is the late, mid to late afternoon, and then the last card is for when you consider evening, when you are winding down and preparing for bed. Oh, I suppose I could have shuffled that on camera, that's okay. Still getting used to having a second camera. So card one, two, three, four. Okay. So early in the morning, we have the Hierophant. Do your daily rituals. <laughs> Even if it seems like it is, like you don't have time today, still do them. If you start your day with a, a meditation or a scripture study or some sort of prayer, still do it. It will set the rest of the day up to be better for you. Card two for the midday time period is the tower. Something will go wrong. Don't be too upset about it. Just focus on how you prepared and take the appropriate steps. Card number three, the moon reversed, is for the late afternoon. Everything, you could read more into things. Don't. The moon is deception. It is illusions. Being reversed, things are actually what they appear to be. Trust your gut instincts. Don't, don't get too concerned about what could be. Focus on what's right in front of you. Card number four for the evening is the Wheel of Fortune. Cycles. Notice what is going on. Pay attention. Have you set up good cycles at night? Have you set up good patterns? If not, change them. Based off of this reading, it seems like you've got good patterns in the morning, but not necessarily the best at night. But that's okay. Life is about learning. It's about growing. Overall, with a reading like this, you're going to have a very hectic day. That does not mean it needs to be a bad day. Don't let one bad thing happen derail the entire day. Because... Again, ending with the Wheel of Fortune, it's cycles. We can choose how we view the cycle. If we focus on what went wrong in the middle of the day, instead of just letting it be, we can ruin the whole day and make our night miserable. If we instead focus on how, well, yeah, it's shitty that that happened, but I'm okay now. I saw the consequences of it, we fixed it, we're good. 
you can still have a good night. That brings us to the end of reading number 42. If you've been enjoying these videos, please leave a like, comment, and if you really liked them, go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.